tonight we we receive the invitation from the Holy Spirit to drink the living water, to be in the presence of the songs have already spoken to our hearts. We're being forgiven. The song spoke deeply to us. We're not here in vain. Blessed be the name. Glory Jesus. It's with joy that I greet the church, those who are following us through media, and those who are visiting us with the peace of the Lord Jesus. Our meditation today will be in Genesis, first book of, first book of the Bible, Genesis, chapter 33. Today we're going to talk about a character, some characters, very known characters, from uh, for the children and intermediate. Genesis 33. We're only going to read one verse. Verse number 14. Let my Lord go before his servants. I'll lead on slowly at a pace which livestock that go before me and the children and, and able to endure until come to my Lord in Sir. Dear Lord, your word is being read to meditate so our soul can find peace. We'll let, we'll let your Holy Spirit to operate in our minds, to bring all the teachings and everything that you wish to add to our growth. Reprehend all the trials, everything that, and give us the mind of Christ. And please be seated. Today was a, today was a feast. I was, uh, I was very happy. Yeah. After the holy dawn, the children were there, and how happy I was there to see them, and that this uh, this part, this feast can repeat on every service. Some of them are not mourning, but for, for God we do it. It's a blessing. They were, they were blessed this morning. We heard, we heard the voice of Jesus. We left this morning full of uh, strength. And this is what happened when every time we put a, a goal in our hearts. A life without a goal, it's, it's a life with no, no meaning. And we need to understand that the goal of Jesus in our life. When I when I uh, when I heard Jesus call me, so this song, this morning, the early dawn, talks about the call, the instrument, talks about the humbleness. They they have it. The children, they, the children said, "Little I am, but the Lord makes you big, big in His presence, and this humbleness, this sincerity." This expression, this nature, generates something that pleases the Lord, because the Lord does not have a commitment. We talked about that in the prophetic service. This, the Lord many times called us and brings us together to be used in a moment that we think that we're not prepared, because He. He counts on those that are dependent on Him, that believe in His power. When we think that we are someone, no. Then the, when we say, when, when we say to the Lord that I'm, I'm needy, the Lord will take care of me. And that David was like that. 
David was a humble man. The text that we read today, some very important moments for you, children, intermediates, and it's important for you, and if, if it's important to you, it's important to us, because as a church, we want to grow, because the Bible says, if it's not with you, we're not going to go into the, with the reign of the Lord. All this Yes, children are innocent, yes. And we're here before, that before two children. The talk, the talks about two children, the, the Jacob and Esau, two men. That the God had already shown their mother that they were going to be rivals and that the, and that the bigger one will serve the smaller one. The things of the Holy Spirit, you know, it's contrary to the everything we learn. Now they're, they're thinking, they're going to the class. In the Bible, the last will be the first. And the first will be the last. As the song they sang, such a small, that they, they're brought up, and those that exalt themselves, their arrogance, they will, they will go down. Those are the things of the Lord. Jacob and Esau, they were, they were twins. The Lord said it's going to be a, it's going to be a war, but this, the bigger one, they, they will serve the smaller one. Saul was, Saul was going to be born first to them. And then the one that was born first had a, a it was primogenic. It's the important. And when the father would die, he put the hand on top of his head and say, God will be with you. So the first one will be receiving a transfer from the father. So the older, the older, the older son was, was always blessed. So the, so the pregnancy was like that, and and Saul was born and Jacob, and Jacob, and Jacob, as, even as a, as it was a baby, he was connected with the Holy Spirit, the things of the Lord. But he was the second one to be born. So, so at the moment there was an opportunity, he would he would not lose it. So the time was passing. The kids were growing, and the Bible said that their personality was completely different, just like our kids. Yes, yes, just like the, our kids. And and Jacob, he was a humble man, and Esau was was an adventure man. Jacob would like to spend time with their parents, and his all would like to, to spend time with, away from the parents. The adventure man, spiritually, is the one that's always looking for something, always looking for more adventure, nothing more uncertain than hunting. And Jacob to like to stay home next next to the house. The house talks about church and we're we're home. We are Jacob. We want to be close to the father and mother. Who's the father? God. Who's the mother? The church. The mother with the kids in the presence of the Lord, seeking for the Lord. The church is the mother. It's the one that looks. Yeah. And that day he came back, came back home without anything. And then when he arrives home, his brother Jacob had done a soup 
Izal. Izal said, give me some of that. And you like that soup? Would you change this soup to the right of me being the first child? Esau was a, an adventurer. Do a lot of stuff without thinking. Precipitate He uses an expression that's prophetic. We're going to repeat here. So no one of us can be in it. Because our minds are fails and the Bible says our hearts can be full. And then he's and he and he answers, what does that what does that being first child is worth if I'm hungry? Give me that soup. And this so he couldn't understand that why it was so important to be born first so in the moment that the father was going to die the mother the church comes to help so he can come and receive the blessing because that agreement nobody saw but but God saw that sometimes you're crying in the early dawn crying. you think nobody's seen but God is seen he's going to hear you he's going to help you and in the right moment he's going to bring an opportunity for you in the moment to receive the blessing the father called Saul Saul was born first and I know it's close for me to die Go bring a man, go bring an animal, prepare it, because I'm going to transfer the right to be responsible for the house of you. So the mother brings it, talks about it. In that moment that uh, he uses his, uh, in his arm, he uses the animal, an animal skin that he could feel, could, he could pass by Saul because Saul's arm was, was uh, hairy. So the Saul, and the father calls, and it's Jacob who was not the first one says, I'm, a, I'm, I'm Jacob. The voice is Jacob, but the, the smell is, is Saul. The Lord knows us. He knows we don't deserve. We deserve. You and I. I normally say that if we, if we walk on our knees, it's not enough to pay for what Jesus did has done for us. There's nothing that we can do to pay what the blessing Jesus did for us. So the smell of the promise is upon us. What the Spirit has taught us is with us. And there was a very special moment. And it, it is Isaac. There goes in to Jacob think, thinking that's a Saul and says, kiss me. The, the kiss is the expression of the intimacy, the biggest intimacy. You don't kiss anybody when you're intimate. You don't kiss anybody you don't like. So, but Jesus was, was betrayed with a kiss because the enemy was using something very intimate in that case was a moment that prophetically and you can put that in your life now and receive the kiss of the Holy Spirit 
receive the touch of the Holy Spirit, the lips of the Lord speaking to your heart, calling you, calling you to a new life, a life with experience with Him. From the, from the mouth that comes the order to come, the victory, Jacob goes out blessing, and he was sealed, and then Saul came, and Saul came after, he went to a hunt, and he brought, he brought it, and he, he came in late, Jacob came first. There's a time called time of God. There's a time called our time. The chronos, chronos from the watch. This time makes us suffer, makes us go old, and sometimes it'll go, it'll, it'll end for us. But there's one time that we don't never get old, but we are renewed in the presence in the Lord because it's, it's the it's the time of Lord. It's chaos. And the, the time of our Lord. And this victory depends on my faith, your faith. When Isaú came, the Father said, and he says, I'm Isaú. And then he said, someone came here and I bless him, thought, thinking it was you. All the prosperity, all the promise, I bless that part. And Esaú, Esaú's question was very painful. And then, what is with his primogenity? So he came in late. And someone had come before him, and he hears from his father. There's nothing for me. He asked his father, not even a blessing. The, the answer was no. The Lord has no commitment with no one that doesn't want commitment. Some uh, services before, I remember a gift that the Lord gave. Someone that was afraid to come into the river of living water, to involve in the work of the Holy Spirit. And I asked myself, are you afraid of what? And after each battle, there is a flag of victory. Why not serve? A Lord that promises us many things that honors us. It's our own. He, he leaves that place roaring. Roaring. He goes out roaring. Because now he knows what he had left behind. Now there is a battle. A, a war. The church, the mother, calls. Runs because you are, your brother's going to kill you. There are times the Lord tells us to, to escape, but it's, it's to escape from the bad thing, the sin. Yeah, the conscious wants to steal, kill, and destroy. And you have, will have. Escape from the sword. There's another expression. Escape in your soul will survive like a flower in a desert. In a desert. We are always going to be escaping. Escaping. Escaping to the things that are promised to the Lord. We are always going to be escaping to the arms of the Lord. He escapes in. He escapes under prayer. He goes to place where he, he uses a stone as a, as a pillow. Everything is prophetic. All the things of the Lord are prophetic. A pillow has to be a, a soft, right? But Jacob used a stone representing Jesus. 
Yes. Aquela que não nos decepciona. Aquela que nos honra e que nos ajuda a fazer uma fundação de uma vida espiritual equilibrada e ajustada para entrar no fase, uma fase que o Senhor está preparando para nós. Ali ele dorme, veja os irmãos dormindo com a cabeça numa pedra e não consegue dormir. Então ele lay his head, head on the stone, ele thinking tão, tão and he can uh, sleep. So Jacob slept. Had a vision. Had a, had a dream that there was a ladder going to the hem to the sky. So he thinks in the dream that he's in heaven. And he's in that like me with you. So when we come out of a trial, we pray for the Lord. You are my strong castle. I believe you. I go under your wings. Help me. He shows us that's the right way because we're in his house. Bless be the name of the Lord. So the day was not even starting. He saw an angel. So he spoke with the angel. So he spoke with the angel and said, I won't let you go until you bless me. I need to go. The angel said, I won't let you go until you bless me. We need to understand and learn this persever perseverance. We don't go until the Lord blesses us. I'm not going to stop serving, seeking you, even if it's against my will, until you, you bless me. And then the, and then the angel touched his, his leg. That's kind of strange. Yes. You wounded Jacob on, a, on his leg. The leg had a prophetic connotation. And it touched Jacob. I have commitment for those for those who have commitment with me. From now on, you're going to be different. Every day, any person that passed by Jacob, they will look at him from far back, saw that he was Jacob. So for the world, we are wounded. Apparently, we are. For the world, that's something bad. We generate a new way of life, which will absorb and practice everything that the Holy Spirit taught us for our security, for our safety, for our salvation. From that moment until the text we read, he liked the uh, women. He was and the father. And then, you know, and then he had to work another seven days. Yeah, he suffered. Jacob suffered a lot. But he persevered. He had many experiences. Yeah, his father-in-law was very dishonest. His father-in-law was dishonest. Now the, 
Por causa. Tudo cruzado, a primeira vez de água, nascia tudo malhado. Então é. o rebanho de Jacó era tudo maior do que o do sonho dele. O Senhor nos dá essa inteligência também. So the Lord gives us that intelligence. The salvation is a sign of intelligence. God prosper those who serve him. The war, it was in the air. That was a, that was a moment. That was a moment of where the two brothers meet. Jacob said, I don't want to keep fighting and leave fighting with my brother. He wanted the blessing, and Esau didn't want the blessing. And when they met, th there was no fight between them. There was no, no screaming or nothing. The meeting was nice. Esau with Jacob. Let's walk. Uh, I've been knowing your family. You know my family. And Jacob says what we just learned. I'm going. Has to be slow. Has to be careful. There's a. The, and the children. Take a, ch take a child and run. Yeah. Yeah. The Holy Spirit works. That's the space. Can we have, have to have. We have to let the Spirit take us. I want the world, the afflictions. Come on, words, my brother. The world's going to try to evolve you with all technologies. The world's going to try to take you away from church. The world is the same. Jesus didn't change. He's God, eternity. It doesn't change. And this, and this, the pace will always be the same. There's an expression that I like. The, the old. The ways, yeah. Yes. yes. Instruct the children in the only way. Yes. Teach your children to uh, pray when you eat, when you sleep, before you go to sleep. If you want to go to school, ask the Lord to, to, to bless you. That's that's the way to instruct the children in the way of the Lord. So when they grow, they don't deviate. There's a blessing, there's a call. That's value, that's embracing. That's involve and bring our children, bring your, your children with them and walk with them. And the speed of the call and the children. So everything can go, go well. To, everything can be preserved and sustained. That's the right pace. The Lord show some gifts, and, the, and, the, and the, you see the, the care of the Holy Spirit to us. Let's hear this. It's the Lord that opens the door.
woman where his uh, light, his candle started to empty it out. And uh, instead of filling it with the right fuel, she was filling it with uh, different fuels. So the candle was, uh, was going away. But the Lord brought you tonight to, to maintain your candle. It's opening your heart. It's going to clean it. All that's contaminated your candle. And it's going to fill up with the oil with the Holy Spirit. And it's going to light up again. Give you the condition to continue to walk. It's the opportunity that the Lord has given someone that for a minute, an instant, deviated from the project. And it started to go where there's another gift, a family and a vehicle, a, a car that was going faster than the normal. And one of the children was taking a head out of the out of the window. So our family is going to be what we give them as an example. The the word convinces, but the example brings them with you. So if you want them to be in the, in the way of the salvation, in the take care of them. Don't let them. Don't don't be late. But go on the right pace. It's the message for the Lord to this family. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let's stand up, please. We're going to pray. Those who are. Bendito seja o nome. Blessed be the name of Lord. Someone glorifying, please. Because in the presence of the Lord, we we learn to walk in His space, where there is health, spiritual health. <coughs> it's the pace of the sheep, the children, for the Lord. And so we've been prepared for the big encounter with the Lord. We glorify the Lord. We bless you, Lord, because you take care of our life. Your direction is a safe direction. You've been taking care of our life, our houses. You have been taking care of our walk. You have been giving us great experiences, Lord. And that's why, Lord, because we're here. Glorify your name, because we are. We, we wait some special which is eternity but we know until then 
you have uh, maintained us strong, standing, keeping our families. That's why we glorify in the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We are grateful, Lord, for everything. Receive our service. Take us in peace. Maintaining us in our position that pleases you, Lord. Prepare to, to be with you, Lord. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please be seated. Be good man, Steve. We are. We thank the honor for those for those who are, in, who are in visiting us tonight. We, we are going to be assisting you. We're going to be assisting our guests from from uh, from Zoom and from here. If you identify with the service, the songs, if you like to, if you like us to help us, we are here to all the peace of the Lord. Tomorrow, 10:30 is our biblical school. At 7:30, our service. Peace of the Lord. Peace of the Lord, Steve. You can. Mm -hmm.